Is there a way these days to make a living out of day trading at all? Are those indicators working? If yes, which ones? Are all those thousands of strategies out there working or not? Few of them? Guys, a lot of questions. Let's find out the answer together on all of those questions. Welcome dear trader. This channel is all about testing different strategies and indicators in the forex and crypto market. We're gonna make a leaderboard with all indicators and strategies which you can use and check yourself. Be sure you're gonna get only true, not manipulated backtesting results, which happens unfortunately pretty often. Enough talking, let's jump straight into the first strategy. So the strategy is original from JDQ and we're gonna check if we're gonna get the same results. Apparently we can receive a win rate up to 69% and a profit from more than 300% along 100 trades. For this strategy we need three indicators we trade the British pound against the Japanese yen at the 15 minute time frame. We are going back 3 months and testing from the 7th of October 2022 to the 7th of January 2023. We trade on TradingView and we will capture our results with TraderEdge. We start with an account balance of $1000, we gonna risk 2% and our profit will be 3%, so we reach a risk reward ratio from 1.5 to 1. The first indicator we need is the RSI, we are gonna search for it and add it to the chart. For the second indicator we will add the QQE mod from Mikkel. The last indicator will be the volume flow indicator from Lazy Beer, we're gonna click on it and add it to the chart as well. Before we start, we need to tweak the settings a bit. We click on the RSI indicator and then on settings, and we're gonna remove everything except the RSI and the RSI based MA. So we leave those two and remove the other ones. And then we change the RSI length from 14 to 40 and the MA length from 14 to 150. Additional, we make the lines a bit more visible and make them a bit thicker just like that. At the QQE mod we only remove the zero level and leave the rest on the default settings. That's alright. We're gonna close this one and at the volume flow indicator we need to change some settings as well. So we're gonna move the volume cutoff from, you can see it here, we're gonna change it from 2.5 to 0 0.5 and we're gonna change the signal length from 5 to 20 and we're gonna make the line a bit thicker here as well to make it more visible. Alright guys, so our setup is almost ready now. We need to change the candlesticks as you can see they are on Heikenashi at the moment. We are gonna change them to the regular candlesticks. The 15 minute chart is already there, that is fine. And we are gonna need to change it to another currency pair. We are gonna make the back test at the British pound against the Japanese yen. So we are gonna look for it and add it to the chart. Before we start the backtesting, I'll show you quickly when to enter a long or a short trade. 
So the criteria for a long trade are as follows. First, we need a new blue bar at the QQ emote, just like here. Second, the purple line has to be above the yellow line at the RSI indicator. And third, the two lines at the volume flow indicator have to be above the zero line and the green line has to be above the orange line. If all of those criteria match, we have a signal for a long trade. This will be our trigger candle. We place our entry at the top of our trigger candle and the stop loss will be placed a bit below the recent swing low and then we want to target a profit from 1.5 to the stop loss. Alright, just like that. And if we're gonna continue the trade, we're gonna see that this signal would have been profitable right about at this candle. Here you can see another example for a short trade. For a short trade, we need criteria as follows. We need a new red bar at the QQ emote. The purple line has to be below the yellow line and the two lines has to be below the zero lines and the green line has to be below the orange line. If all of these criteria matches, we have a signal for a short trade. So we place our short trade at the low of the trigger candle and place our stop loss at the recent swing high. We're gonna target 1.5 for the profit just a bit more right over there and if you're gonna continue the trade we're gonna see this trade would have been not profitable it would have been a loss I hope the rules are clear let's start finally with the backtest <laughs> There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait A first time, a first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall Alright guys, after 76 trades, the 3 months are finally over and we see we haven't even reached close a win rate from 69%, we only have 35.5% and a loss of 17% of our account. If you think about the spread, commission fees and slippage, the results would have been even worse. And if we check the history, we had 9 consecutive win trades and unbelievable 16 consecutive loss trades. That is not acceptable and a drawdown for more than 30%. Wow. We're not giving up guys, we still look for useful profitable trading strategies and indicators. Stay tuned, I have tons of content for you. I hope you liked the video, 
don't believe everything you see. If you have a strategy, I should test for you. Just let me know in the comment section. And if you trade at all, please first start with a demo account. That's very important. Take care, guys. Stay healthy and I'll see you soon.